I can tell you, you just love doing this for me, don't you, Moki? <laughs> Looks good. You look so bored. <laughs> I'm just sad. Why are you sad? Kind of, I just... You have two pairs of glasses. <laughs> okay, what do you want to talk about? Um, well, once you get to the fork in the road, the forks in the road are super challenging and super scary because you go, should I go left? Should I go right? Changing things? Things change and sometimes that can be scary. But it's okay to be scared because it's just another human feeling. Coping with it, you know? I mean, as long as you know it's normal and that each time you're scared and then the outcome, once you see it. So the fork in the road. Should you go to a regular port, um, school or should you stay online? This is the question. Will you like it or will you hate it? It's not even just about liking it or hating it, because I know I'll like it. I, I know that. I, I like to be in that environment where everything's busy, busy, and I'm constantly being, like, told a direction, and I'm not just, like, plopped into, this is what you have to do, but I'm not going to really tell you how to, which is how online school kind of is in a certain way because like they give you the lessons you know they give you them which ones you're gonna do that day but it's not really like here's your teacher right here so you time. don't get that um it's thing. just a one-on-one -on -one connection i feel like okay. that's what i need i need the like the constant option and i have that option where like i can reach out to the teacher online but it's not you can ask immediate. me well yeah but you can ask your brother yeah, but that's not the whole idea of a school. The whole idea is to, like, yeah, I get the help part, but I shouldn't have to depend on my family in a school mm. environment. It's just about am I going to be able to get used to it yeah. in time for me to be able to focus? Like, am I going to get used to um kids being around when well you I'm, know the kids are being around they're going to be noisy they're going to talk when they're not supposed to talk they're going to jump when they're not supposed to jump they're going to act silly they're going to uh, tease oh they're going to be fashion contests yeah but also that's all going to be worse in high school okay. and it's all going to be elevated in high school and that's going to happen in real life so it's better to focus on people who don't even have a completely developed brain yet <laughs> so what exactly are you that. looking forward to if you're able to go to a regular school what's the it? halls I, I like school buildings <laughs> like I think that's a, a good place because I mean a lot of times when you associate your workplace with some place that is like sacred like since I do my schoolwork in my bed studies have shown that that might make make it harder for me to sleep because oh really I associate that place well, you've, with working you, she's read these studies you read these studies i, I how many have, of these studies have you read i'm just saying like, that's a thing like, you said you said so confident like you've done like major research on well yeah because i just i want to make sure that i'm not just feeling like this is just a thing that i'm imagining and it's not real or I so what did you what, what did you look up like school. when you were looking for well, articles? I didn't really look it up. It's just that I've those are things that I've heard from like people who were previously in homeschool okay. or people who are in public school or just like that. Like, when well, you have a death, I know, but it's like it's just I don't yeah. know. Okay, it's just what's the other thing you're looking forward to? Probably just like having deadlines. Like, I have a deadline, but it's not really a deadline. You want a hard deadline. Yeah, because it's like, okay, well, if you don't pe turn it in, then you just fail. Like, you just, it just, you just fail. Okay. Like, it's not, you don't get a temporary zero. 
that's held there until the end of the school year would if you still don't do it then you get a permanent zero just like you get a f, f and that's what happens well i mean the object of a temporary zero is to get you to do the lesson and the lesson is not about passing or failing it's the execution of the lesson which is supposed to be teaching you something so if you don't do the assignment you won't learn the lesson so the whole idea behind a temp to, to my knowledge the idea of a temporary zero is because each lesson is designed to teach you something. But that also isn't good for a procrastinator like me. Okay. Because, like, in, like, in my idea, it's just like, okay, well, I have extra time not to do this lesson. I can focus on something else. And I could do this lesson instead of this lesson. And this... And well, you can prioritize. I'm, well, even though I'm, like, ahead in this category, I'm behind in this category. It's just for... It's just I'm a better learner in a public school, and you I know think? that. No, I know that. When was the last time you've been in a public school? When I was a, when I was the best student in the school, <laughs> first grade. Well, that work wasn't as hard. It wasn't as in depth. It wasn't there, as hard, but that's obvious. It's gonna get harder. As I mean, the thing harder. about homeschool is that it is um, the online school. You have all these tiers, and you have to complete each thing in each tier. So. One lesson may have 10 parts, and you are accountable for each part, whereas if you're in a classroom, they might not hold you accountable personally for yeah, each part that, like, because it's, just, it's a whole group. It's a different learning for different people. That's why there is an option for right. homeschool, online school, and public school, so, and private schools, and boarding schools. There wouldn't be so many different I schools. wish I had enough money to send you to a real fancy boarding school. That's where I really, I think, to me, that would be the ideal place for you, is a boarding school where they had athletics, um, uh, the team spirit of the school, um, structure, activities, you know, fancy hallways, God knows a pretty buildings a lot of boarding schools not it's not a punishment boarding school mm -hmm. but a boarding school that actually is a college prep type of place mm -hmm. you know it's just different like there wouldn't be so many different types of schools if they weren't if they didn't serve a purpose <laughs> like um obviously <laughs> oh. some people learn better <laughs> online oh you just want to be a voice that, on this video yeah i didn't realize some that some people learn better <laughs> online and in that format of being like like some people were majorly bullied in public school mm -hmm. and that means that they just do better not even for the learning aspect just for the mental aspect right in because they could be school. left alone to do their work yeah and they can not distracted yeah and in that sense it would make them happier because they're not being constantly bullied by whoever in school mm -hmm. or it could be a learning aspect where like they just learn better in that format than they did in public school or vice versa well but for me in my experience of homeschool versus or online school versus public school i did better in that environment and i've some negative cons have come from homeschool that i would like to negative cons yeah that i've tr that i want to try and cut off while i'm still young and i don't have to go into high school okay. freshly not only as a freshman but as like literally a freshman, like someone who mm -hmm. hasn't had any public right. school experience right. for this whole time and then thrown into the ball that is high school. Okay. When I am already have, I'm kind of developing social anxiety. Oh, come on with these labels. Don't even start with that. You're not. You're just a normal person with normal. It's not normal. Oh, my good time to I'm end this video. I'm definitely <laughs> an introvert. Well, I mean, I I'm an introvert. Keep... Introverts you make... You are not an introvert. What's... Introverts make... You are not uh, an little... introvert. You are, like, the ex... the most extroverted extrovert I know. You are Are you so... calling me extra? You are extroverted. I think she's calling me extra. You are so extroverted. Okay. You are... You introduce yourself to people easily. You talk to people. It doesn't really get me anywhere, though. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. Extroverts are social butterflies, and okay. I am quite honestly the opposite. I, I take my time. I, there are times when I, I, I'm a wallflower, you know? Depends on how I feel, what I'm trying to do. You're a social butterfly. Well, thank you, dear. Thanks for doing my edges, too. Let me mm -hmm. see how they look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, girl, them edges are good. If things don't work out, you can always become a hairdresser.
<laughs> you know so many hairstyles. <laughs> Yes, the dear. film horizontally. Oh, we did that whole really good talk, which was unscripted, completely flow and everything, and we did it with the camera turned that way. Oh. Yeah. It's fine. You have to make mistakes to learn. You know <laughs> this is the second time. <laughs> the second time you've shown me. It's, so, it's such a habit for me not to hold the camera this way i mean it looks weird so it looks weird but in reality look at how much better we both fit yeah we'd fit yeah for sure why did you couldn't you notice you were so caught up in I what you were saying you were so was, caught up I in what you were know. saying you're trying to like prove your point about homeschool and and everything and then next thing you know you didn't even pay attention I to the you're gonna, you're, 